It's really weird, but YouTube has been unsubscribing people from loads of different channels, including mine. People that I've been watching that I thought hadn't posted videos, checked, and for some reason I wasn't subscribed anymore. So please do me a favour, make sure you're still subscribed. 70% of you guys watching aren't subbed, it helps me out a lot, it's free to do, and let's be honest, you can change your mind anytime. We've got quite a few things to talk about today regarding PlayStation Plus. We've got new games out this week, we've got a massive AAA game that's been rumoured, and loads of other stuff as well. But as usual, before anything, if you guys need to renew your PlayStation Plus memberships, if you need to get PSN credit on the cheap, or if you're just looking to get your pre-ordered games at a decent discounted price, make sure you check out the sponsor, Instant Gaming. The link's down below that'll give you a bit more of a discount. Everything on their site is usually like 20% off anyway, so it's definitely worth checking out to save yourself a few quid. But let's get into it. First things first, the drop. We didn't do the video yesterday because, let's be honest, this week I think there's only one new game being released that everyone's interested in checking out, and that is Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Now, the only controversial thing about this is the fact that it's going to be PlayStation 5 exclusive. It's not going to be available on PS4. A lot of people are really irritated and angry about it, but personally, I think it's a good thing. I know everyone that hasn't got a PS5 doesn't see why, but if you've got a PS5 console and you're picking up a game that's only made for a PS5 console, every single thing that has been put into that game is made for next gen. There's no cutbacks to make sure it still works on last gen. And personally, I think that's what next gen consoles need. When the PS4 first came out, a lot of the games were made playable on PS3 and you could tell which they were. As soon as a game was PS4 exclusive and it was next gen exclusive, it just looked beautiful, it looked amazing, and you could tell the difference between the two. But Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, if you don't know what it is, it's a third person shooter slash platformer. Ratchet and Clank, I played a few of them, I know we've had older Ratchet and Clanks on PlayStation Plus like years and years ago. But obviously with it being a next gen exclusive, it is something that I'm going to be picking up just to check out next gen kind of graphics and stuff really. And the fact that I spotted this morning, there's a gun in this game that it sounds really really weird that teleports weapons and stuff from other playstation games and i've no idea how that's going to work but it sounds absolutely crazy and tons and tons of fun but onto the rumors anyway the main thing that you guys watch for the rumor is for borderlands 3. now this game has been out quite a while and anyone that says nah borderlands 3 is never going to come to playstation plus the Handsome Collection's been on PlayStation Plus before. Uh, Tales from Borderlands has been on PlayStation Plus before. Borderlands 3's been out for quite a long time. All the DLC's out and stuff. The season passes are out. All that stuff. So giving away the base game on PlayStation Plus would be a pretty decent move. It'd get people back playing the game. And it'll make them more money by the fact of as soon as they finish playing through the story and stuff, people are going to go and buy the DLC. They're going to buy all the other stuff in the game. And it's going to kind of boost the sales that little bit. Borderlands, it is a pretty cool game. I'll be honest, the whole comic book style, when I originally saw it, wasn't keen. When I played Borderlands 3, I absolutely loved it. Just the style of it, you kind of forget that it's comic book style while you're playing it. You forget the art style and you just get that into the game that it is absolutely crazy. Some of the guns are weird as hell. The fact that you can like get a gun that when you reload, you throw it and it'll explode. Or that it'll turn into a turret that'll chase the enemies and shoot them and stuff. It's really weird but it's really fun and the dlc on it's pretty damn cool to the point where every now and again i still jump on and just mess about on it now it's a really cool game and i really do hope this rumor is true for anyone that's interested the members section has been fully updated there's three different kind of levels that you can go on where you get yourself free games uh, chances to get free PSN credit, added me on social media, all that sort of stuff. And you also get emotes and all the cool stuff just for when you're chatting and leaving comments and stuff. Definitely worth having a look at if you want to support me. And a massive thank you to anyone that checks it out. Bonus content. Now, it's always nice to get something for free, whether or not it's through PlayStation Plus or a completely different service. And this one is through Twitch Prime. Now, don't worry if you don't have an active Twitch Prime membership. There is a link down in the description that will give you a 30-day free trial where you can claim all the stuff that I talk about today, as well as a load of other free stuff, and a load of free games as well. It is definitely, definitely worth having a look at. But the stuff that we're going to look at today is going back to Fall Guys. Um, there's loads of free stuff being available for this, and it's like there's a massive long list of when stuff's going to be available again. Um, but at the moment, you can actually claim yourself. Um, it's called the Burning Circuits costume. 
It looks quite cool, it looks quite quirky, there's nothing magically special about it, but it does look pretty sleek and it looks alright to play with. And you also get yourself some kudos as well, you can claim yourself 6,500 kudos right now. As soon as you've claimed it, it'll be added to your account straight away, and you can get yourself some free cosmetics. If you're not playing the game anymore, it's still worth claiming, because if at any point you do decide to go back to it, you've got yourself some free stuff kind of sat there waiting for you. What have I been playing? You guys are always ask in the comments and stuff what games I'm playing at the minute, or stuff that I should check out. This week, I've been playing a bit of a quirky game. It's called King of Seas. Now, the only reason I even looked at this game was because it kind of looked a bit like Sea of Thieves and stuff on the trailer, apart from the fact that it's also available on PlayStation. But when actually playing the game, it is a little bit different. Obviously, it's a bit more zoomed out, so it looks a little bit different. But pretty much, it's an action roleplay game that's set in a procedural world. And it's the usual thing of going out on adventures, getting into fights with other ships. The only thing that did originally put me off a little bit when I kind of actually jumped into the game is the fact of how zoomed out it is but I'll be honest with you when you're actually playing it you completely forget it and if you're into your pirate stuff it's definitely definitely one worth checking out it's pretty cool the gameplay for it is pretty addictive and it's kept me occupied for the past few days or so now before we get on to my predictions if you're curious about my setup like the mic and recording stuff that I use if you're interested in becoming a content creator yourself I use mid-range stuff it's not majorly expensive and it does the job really well there's links down below and the will give you a bit of a discount as well so if you're interested in checking that out check out down below but on to my predictions there's two games that i'm going to go for two completely different style of games but something that i'm surprised hasn't happened anyway first up i'm going to go for one of the jackbox games rather than something specific i'm just going for one in the series because there's like six possibly seven of them now and the games that are really addictive and really fun to play and if you're a content creator they are absolutely fantastic because they allow you to play with the viewers and we've already had one of the series free on playstation plus about two years or so ago i think we got jackbox 2 quite a long time ago so to get another one in the series free through playstation plus would it be a massive thing i know the same's kind of been done on xbox i think xbox has had three of the series given free now or that have been available through game pass so it's not a massive leap to say that another one of the series will come to playstation plus um, and the second one that I'm going to go for is Watch Dogs 2. I know this one's been mentioned quite a few times, but it's getting pretty old now to the point where no one plays it. It's been free on, uh, like, Epic Games has given it away free over on PC. Um, as far as I'm aware, nothing's happened on Xbox as yet, but I think it'll make a great PlayStation Plus title anyway. The fact that there's a new one out, Watch Dogs Legion, kind of adds to the fact that it is really possible just because the player base just isn't there. Um, I know you can play online and stuff, and if you ever try getting onto an online game with Watch Dogs 2, sometimes it can be a massive struggle to find a lobby and to actually get into something. So I think it'd make a great PlayStation Plus title. And again, when people enjoy the base game, people end up spending more money on like DLCs and stuff. So it get the money rolling for Ubisoft if they was to do this. Now, any of the games that I have mentioned today, if you guys are looking for people to play with, make sure you jump in the Discord. Great community, easy way to find people to play with just for like PlayStation Plus games, multiplayer stuff, so you're not stuck playing on your own. Um, but that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you have, a like it'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.